showcase. Uh, so uh, don't feel pressured to have to perform. Just uh, concentrate on the things that we've been talking about in class, which is things like listening skills and uh, staying in agreement with each other and supporting your partner. Those, those are the important things that we're trying to, to, uh, to work on here. And um, those are the things that hopefully you'll see some of today. Uh, so the first class is uh, Carol and Mian's class, and they're gonna, uh, we will not be doing it with genres. It's just a, it's just a straight story. We're going to tell you the story. Uh, I'm going to conduct the story by pointing to each person. They have to focus on the person who's conducting, so that, they, so that if the conductor changes position, then the story is continued by that person. We're going to try to keep exactly the same things in mind that you uh, heard before, and that is to continue the story and, and help support the creation that your partner has already created, and then adding to that story, rather than, rather than take the story off in a direction that's all your own. It's all about creating one story together, supporting the story that we're all telling together. Okay? So we're not going to yell die or anything like that, we're just going to tell a story, one after the other. <laughs> title for the story, it's not title of a story that's never been told. Sparky the Fish. No, no, no. Sparky the Fish is the title of the story. Okay? Sparky the Fish is the title of the story. So here we go. My pet's name is Sparky, and it actually is a fish. Most people would think it's a dog, but it's really a fish. And anyways, I got him at uh, Walmart. And he goes really fast in the water, and he didn't want to have sparks anymore, so he got some baby oil at Walmart. And then, and then I put the baby oil on him, and he's all squeaky clean. I don't know why people think he's a dog. Dogs, fish are so much better than dogs anyways, because they swim, and they eat, and they don't cause you so much trouble. I mean, you just have to pour out the water, get a new fish. Fish are really the only animal that it, it costs less to buy a new fish than to feed them. That's why I like Sparky the fish. Worst comes worse, when they just die, you can just flush them down the toilet, and then the living room will be happy with the alligators, and then you can get a new fish. My new fish's name is Flamingo Fish. He likes to swim in my bathtub with me when I have baths, but he doesn't like bubbles because they hurt his gills. You ever tried, you know, Swimming with a dog in your bathtub? That's not going to happen. <laughs> you can believe me on that one. So anyways, the other day when I was racing my fish, because many people don't know that fish are good racers. <laughs> Sparky came out of nowhere and bit my arm, and then it was gone. So I had to go get a new one, but on the way there, there was a dog. And, and I decided, well, Sparky, dogs, maybe I'll just do what the rest of the world does and buy dogs. So I bought the dog from the pet store and I took him back home and I called him Sparky and in memory of my fish, so I have a dog instead of a fish. It's not as fun swimming in the bathtub with a fish, uh, with a dog other than a fish. See, it just takes up the whole bath, I've got no room and I'm just squiggling around and I almost suffocate the whole time. <laughs> so, I killed my dog and got a fish because, yet again, dogs are not as good as fish. So now I have a new fish and I call it Sparky too. We are now going to play a game called Dr. Know-It-All, and uh, Carrie and Kyle and Natalie are going to play that game. So the rest of you can have a seat for the moment, and then we're going to play Dr. Know-It-All. So we need one more chair, and there's another chair back there. Uh, so actually, you guys go and sit down there so we can, uh, we'll, we'll bring you in. Okay, so this game is called Dr. Know-It-All. Dr. Know-It-All works like this. Dr. Know-It-All is one person. The three people you see in front of you are actually one person. It's magic, folks. Uh, and they move as one person, they speak as one person. They speak one word at a time. So Carrie will say one word, Kyle will say the next word, and Natalie says the next word, and etc. Then we go back and continue the rotation. So it happens in sentences, one word at a time. Dr. Know-it-all is an expert, and uh, what exactly is Dr. Know-it-all an expert in? Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Sorry? Cream jelly. Hot dogs. Cream jelly? Grape jelly. Grape jelly, okay. So you're an expert in grape jelly. Welcome, Dr. Know-it-all, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Dr. Know-it-all. Uh, know know we understand that you are an expert in grape jelly, and uh, we want to know why grape jelly is better than any other jelly in the world. Well, grape jelly is uh, better. Best because it tastes like oranges. Oh, okay, so you didn't know that, folks. You want to try grape jelly? It's all been changed to the taste of oranges now. Uh, question from the audience about grape jelly for Dr. Know It All. Anything you wanted to know? Yes, shout it out. Why do they decide to change grape to orange? Why did they decide? Good question, sir. Why did they try to decide to change the taste of grape jelly to the taste of orange? You change the Flavor to orange because you like it better. <laughs> <laughs> Ask 
ask a silly question, sir. Get a silly answer. Uh, question for Dr. Know It All about grape jelly. Yes, in the back. What do you do when you get it stuck in your hair? Yeah, what happens when you get grape jelly stuck in your hair? What should you do? Grape jelly washes out with shampoo and mayonnaise. <laughs> shampoo and mayonnaise. Okay, yeah. Question. Yeah, what are some other practical uses for grape jelly? You know, just eat. What else is it good for? You know? I good. Good question. A question of, the question is, what are some of the other uses that grape jelly is used for other than the traditional eating? Grape jelly is also used for putting on dogs' teeth to clean it. Okay, so try it on your dog next time he gets it. We're going to uh, show you the slides of, uh, no, I'll show you their slides. I don't know exactly what it's of, but they're going to tell you. Uh, and uh, these three people up here are going to be the slides. So what the, the, the way we do it is they're, they're going to they're gonna say click and then the slides, these people will, will uh, take the position of statues. They'll go into poses in tableau form and then uh, our slideshow people have to justify these uh, statues, these, uh, this tableau, as a picture of their slide, in their slideshow. Okay? Uh, so, uh, so away we go. Oh, great news, I, uh, I got the pictures back from our trip to Mexico, and I actually, to surprise you, I turned it into a slideshow. <gasps> I'm so excited. All right, let's have a look. Click. <gasps> that was the best. Yes, I'll never forget that time. When This is pretty much when we were checking into the hotel here. We uh, wanted to beat the holiday rush. <laughs> yeah. um, we'd see the bellboy, he wants to duck out for a quick drink or something, so he's kind of, you know, whoosh, to the connoisseur, so he doesn't tell anybody that they're there. There's uh, you holding your luggage and me trying to help you. <laughs> I'm such a <laughs> Yeah, well, I found like made a good weapon in case someone tried to get in front of us. True. All right, quick. All right. Bellboy knows we've spotted her. <laughs> or him. <laughs> we still don't know. We're playing a game called Puppets, so uh, that uh, involves uh, Garrett, Ben, uh, Sarah, and Jessica. Sorry. So come on up. And the way Puppets works is that um, the, uh, Sarah and Jessica are going to be, uh, which one of you is a puppet? Okay, so you're a puppet. So Jessica's going to do Sarah's, um, uh, Sarah's the puppet, Jessica is the puppet master. She has to put her in whatever position that physically she wants to put her in in order for the scene to move forward. Uh, Sarah can only talk. All, any physical movement has to be done by Jessica, okay? It's the same for Ben and Garrett. Okay, which one of you guys is the puppet? Okay, so, so Garrett's the puppet, and Ben can only move him. Uh, 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 Garrett can only speak, okay? Well, let's have a location for the scene to take place. A glue factory. A glue factory, okay? Scene <laughs> takes place in a glue, a, glue, a glue factory. So here we go. This is how we make the glue from the horse hooves into the glue sticks. We mush it around a little bit. And in fact, ironically, we can use a horse hoof to mash it up. So uh, I'll, I'll just show you how to do this. Oh my, that's... <laughs> you have an attitude problem. Naughty, naughty, naughty. I'm not naughty. Oh, we forgot our masks. We couldn't get intoxicated. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I'll get you one. I have mine. <laughs> Come get it, honey! <laughs> Listen to each other. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can breathe. All right. What's next? I'll just motion some around a little more. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, go ahead. Here, you have a try. Mm, it's so funny, gooey. You could be a professional glue maker, you know. I think my hands are getting stuck together. Well, uh -oh. we have a special substance for that. It's called prying them away with my hands. <laughs> I'm in big trouble. That's to the sink. Water helps. Yeah. Where's the sink? Um, uh, I really don't know. Let's go look for it. Oh, here it is. If we can only turn on the water. Share it with your audience. I'll use my face. Shh. <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. Ah, I'm free! 
Okay, great. Okay, uh, we are going to play a game called Emotional Option, and that game is going to be played by, uh, well, you guys know who's going to play it, because I somehow changed my little piece of paper. Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, is that me as well? That's you, it's you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Ben, Amanda, Garrett, and Jessica. I could just look at you and I know who was playing. Uh, so uh, let's have you guys start first and you guys are going to do the second one, okay? So the way the emotional option works is they're going to start a scene. Periodically during the course of the scene, I'm going to yell freeze and I'm going to yell out an emotion. And whenever that emotion is yelled, whatever emotion is yelled out, the scene now has to be played with that new emotion, okay? So whatever whatever's happening in the scene is injected, the, the new emotion is injected into it. So remember to play in your environment, use your objects, be in your wear. Uh, let's have a location for the scene to take place, please. Australia. Uh, and <laughs> a non-geographical location. Elevator. Sorry? Elevator. An elevator. It's taking place in an elevator, okay? Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, uh, seven, please. Nice. I'm going there too. Yeah, I, I'm on holidays here. Yeah, I just actually arrived now. So. Oh, really? Freeze! Confusion. Where are you from? I'm from Sydney. But you know what? Where's that? Uh, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I'm sort of somewhat down there, because they always say, are you from down under? So I'm thinking it's down. Uh, I wonder why. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the surface of the earth. Maybe. <laughs> Same game. Uh, a new location for the scene. In a graveyard. A great, great location. So it's in a graveyard. Here we go. Or a basket. Huh? Yes. I wouldn't like to be him after what I'm about to do. <laughs> Freeze. Anger. What the hell? What? Why'd you take a bite out of him? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't wait for you. It's just... <laughs> oh. Oh, no way, it's my turn! No, it's mine! <laughs> no! Please, jealousy. <laughs> you got his arm! The arm's the best part! I know! <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> last time you got the entire corpse. That's... that's... Trap! <laughs> Freeze! Happiness! <laughs> I like the head. <laughs> Freeze! Paranoia! This toe jam came from socks from Walmart. <laughs> Walmart? Is, I don't know. It's taking over. They do Starbucks. some really weird stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> not cool. Oh my god, I think it was made in Mexico. Oh god. Okay, it's okay. We'll just we'll pick another corpse. Okay. Okay. What about this? Freeze. Greed. He's mine. I found him. I'll take to him no, first. No, he's mine. Here, here. Here, no! <laughs> Freeze, love. <laughs> you have to yell freeze and come and join the scene. Remember, what we're trying to achieve here with this too also is the people that are standing in the back row are not just observing what's going on and waiting, waiting for something interesting to happen, but they're helping their partners out here if things should get into trouble. If the scene starts going a little south on them, then people in the back row will yell freeze to help them out, won't you? Yes. Of course. <laughs> so let's have two people come forward and start a scene. Uh, and let's have a first line of dialogue for the scene. Oh my god. Only at Walmart. My, my, I think it has to be a whole entire scene with a subject and a predicate, sir. Your chair's broken. Only at Walmart. No, no more Walmart. Sorry. We're not advertising Walmart. Can you? The curtains are falling. The curtains are falling. Thank you very much. Here we go. Are you okay? The curtains are falling. What are we supposed to do? Do you have the glue? I asked you to get it like five hours ago. You know? I brought it. One sec. Yeah, yeah, big cheese. Uh, yeah, what's going on, man? All right, you throw out the beat, I throw out the rat, and then we 
you make rich monies off the rich monies off the math bling bling. Yo, yo. What yeah, up? Yes. Yeah. 
fresh up, old fresh. school, you know, old homie. school homie. What's you don't going know on? Me. <laughs> no, homie, you don't know me. Just show me. You don't know me. What? What? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Get butt up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, isn't that Eminem? Oh. Get his ass! <laughs> Word! <laughs> Hey look, there's a hitchhiker. You can be that if you want! I'm homicidal! Wow! No. <laughs> you scared me for a second there! Yeah, and so my mom enrolled me for the theater program in the Second City. Really? And the young theater, and she says I'm gonna be a star! My mom just said that I can be anything I want because you, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. Hey, there's the psychiatrist's office! <laughs> Yeah, he did something like that. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, just, just take a good whiff of it. 